we're here at Digital Experience Pepcom today and uh, the first booth we've hit is Pandora's because we're very interested in in-car infotainment and we'd love for you to tell us what you guys are doing with all of the big car manufacturers and with all of your other partners who are so excited about Pandora right now. Yeah, well, it's been a really remarkable year for us. Last year when we were here, we had four OEM brands announce their plans to integrate Pandora into the Dash. And that number has now grown to 16, including two announcements that came today from Kia and Acura. So we're at 16 automotive OEM brands and seven aftermarket partners, so 23 total. We're really excited about the momentum, and, uh, and we expect that Pandora is going to be available to our 125 million listeners here in the US in pretty much every car they want to drive uh, in the future. Why is Pandora so successful? There are plenty of digital radios out there. Why is Pandora the one that seems to really be the killer app when it comes to digital radio? You know, I think the key is personalization. The promise of the internet is unicasting the listening experience to each listener individually, and the opportunity is to really select the music for each listener's taste individually. That's the real, that's the the concept uh, behind Pandora, and we've been working on that for you know close to 12 years. And it's a hard problem to take the celestial jukebox and pick for each one of our listeners exactly the next song that they would like to hear. Um, and that's the thing that we believe we're best in the world at, and keeps people listening to Pandora. How do you do that? What's the algorithm behind that? Have you heard of the Music Genome Project? It's the founding notion behind Pandora. So every song that has an opportunity to play on Pandora Radio has been actually analyzed by a musician. And they, they, they capture something like 200 to 450 attributes about each song individually, based on the musicology, how it sounds. And we use all of that rich data about how a song sounds to help connect it to other things that a user says that they like. In addition to that, we have like 11 billion pieces of thumbs up and thumbs down feedback we've collected over the years that we've been playing Pandora, and we also use those to make the radio experience better for everyone. What's on your playlist right now? On my playlist? It's actually a lot of toddler radio, because I have a two-year-old at home. We keep playing Pandora for kids. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for showing it to us.